Welcome to another Lumion live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover all the new content, 3D content that comes with Lumion 9. Kind of how, where to find them, what, what to kind of look for in them, and a way for you guys to access what's the latest and greatest very easily instead of having to dig through the library. Okay, so... I have up here, this is an Illumion What's New, this is where I kind of refer to everything, make sure I get my facts straight. So in Illumion 9 we have 634 new objects, just <laughs> as if we didn't have enough before we, Illumion continues to provide really high quality content uh, models to add to this library that's just, it's rounding itself off and, be, and getting more and more things to fill our scene with to save us time in the end. So it includes 91 new trees, we're going to take a look at those. 459 new indoor objects, obviously that's the big the big bulk of it and we're going to take a look at all of that that came in there as well. Uh, we got five more outdoor objects, 30 more people, these are a lot of these are, are brand new people, new like new forms, not not the same people with uh, different uh, animations this time. All new people, big variety, and uh, ten new vehicles, which are great. So that brings the total for for Lumion Pro, mind you. I'm going to try to try to correct myself a lot, or, or try to specify. If you don't have Pro, you got about a third of this content. So I'm focusing on specifically Pro to cover everything. And now the number is 5,259 objects in Lumion's library. Imagine how much it would cost to have that much in your own library for another software. It's quite incredible what gets packaged with Lumion. So I'm gonna take a look and jump into a scene here in Lumion that I created. Instead of just arraying everything new in a grid or something, I thought that was just really sterile. And so I just kind of created a scene here with a lot of the new trees. We'll, we'll, we'll start off kind of looking at the trees. Um, another thing I'm going to point out here that I've done for you guys. One thing I wish Lumion would do, because the library is already so big, is I wish they would have a, a tab for what's new. Like when we go to place here, if we had just somewhere a little category here or somewhere in the back here it says what's new. So we could appreciate what's what's the new objects that's been that's been added in here. You know, I've been losing Lumion since since version three and I've gotten to use a lot of these trees, but I know I haven't used all of them. And I'm not at a point where I can instantly recognize oh that's a new tree especially since they shrank the thumbnails a little bit and heck they, they actually redid these little thumbnails a couple of years ago as well they used they look different before too so what i've gone ahead and done is i've gone through a list from lumion and i have actually marked all of the new lumion nine objects as favorites here so they all appear right here as a tab. So I have two pages here for trees. And this is all of the new trees. Almost. I, I, I verified my numbers on here. I'm like missing a couple here and there, especially on the interior one. It, there, there's a lot. <laughs> I got pretty close. But the cool thing is I can actually share this with you guys. So we'll, we'll go over that in a little bit, how you guys can import all these favorites so when you have your Lumion 9 you can easily jump to what's the latest in each category where it's trees whether it be trees or the vehicles I have them all set up here all the latest so first starting with trees um, there's kind of a couple different uh, sections here for one we started off with a lot of new rocks here I had a couple I don't have them specifically set out here I just kind of started to put a lot of the new trees kind of out in the distance here on the Farnsworth house and I actually did not place too many rocks but these are ever motion so high quality rocks that we get stones for landscaping I use these quite a bit I mean I used the old ones quite a bit and they had a decent amount before but I'm always open 
and uh, welcome to have more variety of these different rocks, especially higher quality ones like the ones that Evermotion has. So you can go through these and take a look at them. I'm not going to go pull out every single one, but if we just kind of examine these, you can, feel the, you can see the textures are, are pretty nice. The higher resolution than the ones Lumion's had before, so they'll look great in your renderings. So all of these are new stones. And then looking at the trees, we have these new Australian willows. Again, a lot of these are the same tree, just different variations. We got a couple more European ash. You know, field maples, plenty of those. Just kind of nice. If you're a landscape architect, you know specifically what these kind of trees are. I just think they look like they look pretty good trees, good filler trees, good for the distance. The quality on the newest trees are always really good, top notch. And basically everything I've gone over here is kind of what I've arrayed in the distance here. So nice green lush, lush plants. All new set up in here and then going on there's a couple we get just a couple little um, shrubs and flowers they've added not too many but just a good amount there's a really interesting looking plant here a couple more flowers these are roses some pretty interesting little plants and flowers all that's kind of arrayed out just to add to the already an immense number we had before. Nice little variations. I'm sure people out there recognize what these plants are specifically. Might be rejoicing. I just I, th I think they look pretty cool. I think they look pretty good in some of my renderings. And one of the things I'm most I was most excited about is again these palm trees. Especially these really tall, skinny ones that I could not mimic or recreate before because I would just scale things up and then the trunk would get too thick if you scale it up to be tall when these things are really just skinny little sticks out of the uh, out of the ground I saw these everywhere when I lived in San Diego and now I can recreate so much better some of the scenes out there this is literally what it would look like in some areas I can see Florida kind of looking like this too all along the edge great looking new palm trees as well as many other little smaller ones here so that kind of is a good little overview of of the trees feel free to play with the uh, file I have and you can start experimenting with these and comparing them to other ones or just using them when you just say I need a tree right here well let's take a look at what's the new stuff kind of get the get used to using them the quality is as good as ever they all have the same controls as before it's pretty typical every year we get some great new trees that's that's always a given with nine so let's go ahead and jump over to transport so I have here marked all the new ones there are a variation of cars and um, sports cars and SUVs just a little bit of each of these we got a, a couple ever motion ones last time and these these new ones have a marking of a squirrel I actually don't, I'm not familiar with the company that's making these, but they're good quality. I have all the uh, vehicles kind of sectioned off over here. So here's kind of an example of the cars that Lumion had before. They're good looking cars from about this far away. They're, they're really good for renderings, but Lumion was getting to the point where the the cars were definitely standing out as the least realistic thing in a scene when they kind of got the nice high quality trees and the lighting getting better so i was always pushing for uh some high quality cars and they started to deliver that last time and they've added on to it this time with this the uh, with this whatever this squirrel people <laughs> this uh whatever the squirrel uh means that that company i'm a fan of these uh these models you could, of course, I, I used to bring in a lot of models myself, 3D models, high quality, high poly cars My for whatever make I specifically need or something really up close to the camera. The nice thing about these is these look pretty good and they're optimized for Lumion. Of course, the wheels will turn and such and they don't weigh down the scene too much. So obviously we got like a Mustang, which is pretty cool. Looks like a Golf, looks like an Audi, Porsche, looks like the new Tesla actually. So some Mercedes and Porsche SUV. So really recognizable, iconic cars that you'll see on the road that really kind of really kind of add some good realism to the scenes. Having nice high quality vehicles like this, they all work the same as they did before. So 
you still have options of turning the lights on and off and turning the driver on and off and controlling the color and it randomizes when you place it great it's really good really good addition we got 10 new vehicles here that I look forward to using so let's move over to here and take a look at the new people we got so I've just kind of grouped them up there's standing people a bunch of more walking people and a lot more bikes uh, bikes are definitely a welcome addition. I think we got the first few bikers in eight. I can't remember if it was two or three, but I used I used them quite a bit in a lot of my scenes. I've I've had a scene where there were literally hundreds and hundreds of bike racks and bike uh, and a campus well known for bikes, and I had to use those two or three people a lot. So I'm really glad that they've added a little. A lot more variety of people riding these bikes. We got students, we got business people, we have older, older casual riders here, and then we got a lot of new models here as well. Just walking. You know, remember these are not just recycled. Each one of these seems to have a different, unique walking animation they have going here. So these are new, new people, not seen before. So very much a welcome addition. I'm not sure if that guy is new or not. I think I have. I'm. I think I might have an older. I have too many on here, so I think some of these were from eight. The. Uh, these are just the standing people. Just a good variety. So, excited to be using a lot of those people. We're getting more and more. And let's move on. So let's take a look really quick as well. Yeah, so a lot of them were AXYZ. Not all of them. Some of them were developed in-house by Lumion. But they all share a really high quality standard that you come to expect. There's some people in there from original Lumion that don't look quite as good as the new ones. So all the new ones really look good when they bring them in. Looks like I think I'm in place mode. Okay, it's like there's a person out in the desert here. So not a ton for outdoor here, but some really good objects. We have this deck chair. Actually looks really good. Pretty cool desk with character outdoor here, and it's a simple little shelf. And then these guys, these apartment blocks, these are great. Uh, we had quite a few buildings before. I could really think we could use some more than we have, so I'm glad they're adding more in here, but you know, just an example of what that we had before were just basically textures with some indents and the glass is not reflective here. That's kind of what you came to expect before, which is perfect for the distance. But these ones actually have some pretty good little detail, good good quality materials. I believe it looks like a person in the window. And reflective windows, little details there. These look really good. I just moved the sun around to really see. So, really glad to have those. Hope we get a lot more of those things. Those are, those are excellent for even closer detailed uh, buildings in the background if you have an urban scene. And that allows us move on to interior. Uh, yeah, indoor objects here. So this is kind of a sample of them because remember there's like several hundred. Was like five hundred. 459 new indoor objects. I didn't place them all. I just kind of did a sample of them because there's so many. So let's go to indoor. And so there's seven tabs here of them. So I just did a couple samples to look at. So they added another bed in here. It looks like a lot of the ones we had before. Good looking, good looking bed. One thing they've added is a lot more paintings. And I'm a big fan of paintings. I used to always have to bring some in. Lumia had a few... I can only do that cow one so many times, or the vegetables. These are great, like modern artwork and photography that you'd actually see up in 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 uh, modern houses now. So they've added all of this page is pretty much all canvas, and then they have picture frames. So tons more they've added. Really good, applicable variety of of. Uh, content to add to fill up your scene populate your in interiors they've also done a good amount of little appliances here we got some uh, an iron fryer electric grill i think i have these over over here 
So they're from Evermotion, so the quality is consistent and very good. They did a couple, they, they, they seem to focus a lot in the kitchen. So we have uh, like fume hoods that we can just add into our scenes now. We have cooktops, so we can actually just stick this on a countertop here. And we have a cooktop right that, just like that. Except I missed. So several of those. A couple more glasses. And then a ton of these kitchen cabinets. You could build a whole kitchen now with a lot of the varieties of cabinets that kind of look like this. The different variations and pieces. You can pl piece together to make a, a kitchen really quick. Especially if you're just populating populating a, an exterior render where you can see big panes of glass you can see a kitchen you don't have a kitchen model designed you could just stick all this in there and and um, you know populate it out so from a distance it'll look great or you can even fill some interior the quality is pretty good you can fill some interior spaces as well so we so tons and tons of pages of these different lots of different styles Cool little lamps, modern little faucets, and some cool tables and chairs, and sofas. Again, like you can get the really high quality ones, high quality 3D models you could bring in from your 3D modeling software, but these ones actually look pretty good as well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that for filling these in. And if you have like a really, really dramatic detail up close detail shot you're still the best quality is is getting them importing them yourself but these are always these are constantly improving and they look they have the proper maps set up on them so they really they really have a good quality more chairs and there's a lot of shelving here as you can see moving ahead there's all the chairs Lots of uh, bookshelves and some more coffee tables and stools and desks. So 400 of new, new uh, practically 500 new objects. So there's a lot to pick from. Lots of cool new styles. Uh, a lot of these are really kind of modern. It's going to be super useful in your scenes. Just that quick population of, of filling things. I, I used to have to go to the SketchUp Warehouse or jump on the Turbo Squid or somewhere to get a nice high quality sets of furniture just to kind of fill in things. Lumion does us a huge service by having this library. So we can just quickly set optimized models in here, ready to go. Saves us a ton of time. And I mean, just imagine having to fund a library of selection this high, this large on your own if you had a rendering firm. Um, they've, I've talked about this uh, search function. I know they kind of had it before, but this is again really great. You search for a specific table, you get everything with kind of table listed in it here to narrow it down. You can do like uh, cook, anything doing with cooking here. So definitely take advantage of that, searching through this giant library. And I think now I'm going to teach you guys how you can import these favorites to have everything I see here, if you have Pro, of course, of Lumion 9. And that's actually going to be pretty simple. So we need to go to our documents, Lumion 9. And outside of all of these folders, there's a settings9.ini folder here. So this is what apparently holds all of your favorites. I had to consult with Lumion's developers to make sure I did this right. I didn't know if you could do this or not. I had this idea in the past about being able to share all these favorites for you guys to be able to quickly reference and, and tool through yourself. It's all stored in here. So I have a link in the description for this very same file I'm using here. If you were to go download that, go to your documents, Lumion 9.0, drag and drop it on here and overwrite, then, uh, and make sure Lumion's closed first. Overwrite this, and then when you open, it, open up Lumion again, you will have, it will look just like what I have here. 
all of the new Lumion 9 specific content will be in the favorites so you can quickly access it and know what's new. I created that what's new folder for you guys. But if you guys are already using favorites, um, which is a good idea, if you already have a, a setup favorites, um, uh, you, which is already populated, I wouldn't recommend this because this is going to nuke everything you have and you'll have to start over. Um, so don't do it for if you have that set up. And also, I guess I also taught you if you had favorite set up from Lumion 8 that didn't come over, you could also go to Documents, Lumion 8, grab this file and, and, uh, and, and replace it here as well. I think it might have to rename it. So learn something new there. So I, I spent a lot of time, as you can imagine, going through these lists and actually checking all of these objects for every category. I did it so hopefully it helps you guys out. Um, I hope it's a big help for you guys trying to just kind of tour what you got in the package for Lumion 9. Again, I kind of wish they had a way of just showing everything that's new. It's just so much. Uh, so much that gets added and some of these... Lumion 8 added every motion and then these just get tacked on afterwards in the middle, sometimes at the end. So it's hard to tell what's new and not. So hopefully that really helps out. Hopefully I was able to kind of showcase um, and give a quick little tour of what to expect with Lumion 9's new content. Give you a better idea of the quality that you've received. Hopefully if you have 9, you haven't quite tried out some of the new, new objects. You can really, um, I've showed you, you know, some good good things that you can and ideas you can add into your scene to help kind of get some high quality details in there some I know I get kind of used to the habits from past versions of objects that I continually use well, there might be better version of that now that's come out in 9 so I think it about covers it for this is the uh, new, new Lumion 9 content specifically for pro because all these are pro and about 30 of these are not so um, thanks for watching guys any questions uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and look forward to hearing if this helped you guys out. All right. Thanks for watching.